Hey everyone! I wanted to hop on and show you how I do my how I'm cleaning my brushes. So I got this little scrubbing thing. Um, I know people are most likely gonna catch the replay, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. I might just wait just for people hop on just a little bit. I want you to hop on and say hello. I am going to be showing you how to clean my brushes. I mean like. I need cleaning some dirty brushes. Like this is super. This has like three different types of foundations on because I need to get more um, brushes so I can use for different foundations. But once you hop on say hello, I'm going to show you how I clean my brushes. And cleaning your brushes is very, very important on uh, because if you don't have clean brushes, then you can have all that can cause breakouts and stuff. So how I do it, I have this little scrubby thing that helps um, scrub it, um, get into very deep um, of the brushes. So um, I got this and this was from Five Below. I, bet, I think I paid like three bucks for it and it just sticks to your um, your sink. So it's pretty awesome. Good morning, once you hop on say hello. Um, and then I go in with our tea tree bar soap. I use this to um, clean the brushes because it is super amazing so amazing like i'm only cleaning a few on um on this live so you don't have to sit through the whole thing but um this stuff is so amazing like i just get it all wet i use um keep um warm water to do that and i just pretty much it will get this bar i mean get this brush all soapy and then i'm gonna get a little bit of wet and then i'm gonna go in with this and that's going to get all that because I mean like look at this. It's gross. Gross. And then I just get it wet a little bit and work with it some more. Hey everyone. Cleaning brushes is super, super important because you do not want uh, your brushes being use it completely. I would recommend doing it um, once a week. Um, at least the ones that you use all the time. That's why I have like a whole bunch of freaking brushes. So then I don't have to do it, you know, all the time but having mm -hmm. clean brushes does wonders um, on your skin if you use um, if you don't clean your brushes then that's what's causing like breakouts and um, oiliness uh, bad oils in your face so I just for my foundation brush I continue doing it a little over because makeup can go all the way deep inside so I like to that's why I prefer this thing um, to get most because it can get deep down in there so, I'm telling you. Yes. Yes, it's an antibacterial um, that you can, I use this actually, this, not this bar soap. Um, I have a separate one for my face and I use it, it does so wonders for my acne. Uh, but it's mm -hmm. great for, um, you also, um, I had somebody on my team that has used it to clean their husband's oily, um, dirty hat. And oh my gosh, it has done wonders to her hat uh to his hat and it's crazy it does wonders and i mean it's cleaning all that gunk out of it i'm gonna rinse that out Put this bar stuff down and then my bathroom is like we have hardly any room at all so once you see pop on say hey so i'm just going to rinse that off and then i always brush it off on a towel to make sure it's completely there is none left over just like that a white one would be do good um would show better but i don't have white because white always you know gets dirty then if you don't have this mat then this is a perfect just using this bar soap you can just scrub really hard i just did this in here i'll show you another one i just redid that one my bad okay let's see this one right here. This one is another one that I use for, but I just get a wet thin, and then you can use this bar soap and just scrub like this. And push down on it so you can get deep down inside there, um, all the way to the bottom, and do that. But you don't have to have this mat. I use this mat to, because um, my, uh, just because, I mean, it was three bucks at five below. I mean, seriously, um, it wasn't that much. And honestly, if you, this, because this bar soap is only $5.90. This mat I got, you can get them at Walmart, and I think you can get some cheaper 
Um, you can honestly get quite cheaper. I think even Dollar Tree has them if you want. You don't have to have the mat. I just sometimes prefer it. So look, just from scrubbing all that on that thing, it has cleaned it. And so I always try to rinse it and then try to dry a little bit to see, make sure nothing else comes off of it. It's pretty crazy. It's amazing. Here, right, let's do a shadow brush here. So even a shadow brush. So yes, this bar soap I use for my face cleanser to wash my face, and I also use it to, um, this soap right here is the tea tree soap, um, bar soap. It is from pharmacy. It is freaking amazing. It's um, antibacterial soap that cleans your brushes. Amazing, and you can also use it, I'm trying, I probably can't hear me with that water on, sorry. You can also use it to clean your husband's hat if he has oily hats or very like dirt and stuff. It can clean the crap out of it. I'm telling you. Um, my I actually have um, my husband don't have oily and greasy hat because he's not, you know, he hardly wears any hats. But my teammate has some amazing results from it, and I'm like, holy oh crap! And I'm telling you, it's amazing. I can actually post them in the comments, but this, I use this bar soap to clean my face um, every morning and every night. It does so wonders for acne. Um, it's great for your brushes because it gets all that gunk out of your brushes from all that oils from your face, from dirt, and even from all that makeup. I mean, it does freaking amazing. Here, I'll show you another one. Look at this one. This is the one I use for as my, um, eyeshadow um, primer and look how stiff it is. It's like very stiff because it's my eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to get it wet. You don't have to have this mat, but this mat does wonders for like when you have your brushes so stiff like this. So I just scrub it all over. And look at that. It's getting all that off. This one is like stiff as a board because that eyeshadow primer is what this is amazing eyeshadow primer to keep your foundation in check and it makes them stand out more of your shadows but yeah so you just rinse it and use it some more and then if it's a little bit more stubborn I use this thing but yeah you don't have to have this mat I use it for my more stubborn ones because it has like different little fringes here and there for deeper I don't ask me I'm not a pro about all this gadget but I started with just this thing and that was it but this bar soap you need is a tea tree um, bar soap that pharmacy sells and it's only five dollars and ninety cents that is it and this bar soap has lasted me when did I use I got this let's see I think it was December I got it in December and this bar soap has helped um, lasted me because I washed my brushes um, I try to do once a week. If not, it's, you know, um, every two weeks because I do have a big collection that I can, I, I can go a little bit longer without brushing my, um, washing my brushes. But yeah, that's why I always have a little bit more so I can go a little bit longer. But yes, if you only have a small collection, then I definitely recommend one, um, once a week. But look at that. That is awesome. Super quick and easy. Okay, here's this one. This one is has more pink on it. It is awesome. Because I used to use the Dawn soap before this. Um, because it is help with grease and stuff. But it is, um, this is actually very gentle for your brushes. Um, Dawn soap kind of helps. Um, it actually, I've seen that it kind of breaks down um, a little bit of my brushes. But um, definitely, uh, when I started to try this out, I'm like, oh my god, I'm never switching ever again because I mean, five dollars and nine cents. This can last you. Um, it's been like three months now, and how I do it, I always try to clean it off um, when I want to wash. Um, when I'm done washing the brushes, all I do is rinse it, kind of rub it in my hands a little bit, and rinse all that makeup off so then it won't stay uh, on it. So I just wash it off. And then after that, I just pat it dry with a clean towel and then I put it in a Ziploc baggie to save for the next time. 
So yeah, that is what I do. Exactly, yes. It is super drying on, but that's why like I didn't like the way it felt. And then some brushes of mine, it actually like made the the, the Pringles of it um, come out. So it was definitely, I didn't want to uh, hurt my brushes. But here we go. Here's another one. This is one I use on my bronzer. But it's like getting all that out. It's actually flinging it everywhere. <laughs> I just push down. You do not have to have this sponge thing, but you know, I use it at temporary just to make it maybe go quicker sometimes, or it's just your preference. But I bought this thing at Five Below. If you have a Five Below, I got it for three bucks, and this thing is huge. So, down now. It's awesome. This stuff you need. This is a tea tree bar soap. I said I wasn't going to be on here to do all my brushes, but I ended up doing it anyway. Hey, everyone. This bar soap is the Tea Tree Bar Soap. It is from Pharmacy. This stuff is amazing. I use this on my face. I have a separate bar soap um, to keep, um, keep it separate from my brushes, um, just for purposes. Um, but I do. I use the tea tree bar soap as a um, to clean my face as well during morning and at night time. Right after I wipe off my makeup, I use this, and then I use I do um, my other skincare stuff. This thing can move around because this thing sticks to your. I'm telling you, this thing was a. Let's rinse it off. There. Okay. I'm gonna do my brow brush now. For my brow brush, I use a light brown kind of thing to use. So definitely, if y'all want some of this bar soap, hit, um, let me know because I am placing an order. I can um, order it for you. It's only $5.90 um, plus shipping. I do not do tax. So awesome fact. Or you can definitely um, check out my link and you can order it yourself. It's however you want. But this bar soap is amazing. It is antibacterial. It will clean your brushes like crazy. It will clear up your acne if you have acne. It will, I mean, it's crazy. And also can clean your man's greasy, dirty ball caps as well. I'm gonna rinse this brush out. And then I'm gonna do this other side too. I'm telling you. I'm gonna clean this brush up. Look at that. How gross. It is going to clean that thing out. So I rinse it a little bit, rub it in my fingers a little bit. I'm going to clean this brush. Just teach your soap off. Do it again. I mean, this stuff is amazing. This is the tea tree bar soap that pharmacy sells. It is antibacterial. It is amazing. And I can't stop saying how amazing it is because it cleans your brushes so good. And like how quick that is too. Super quick. And there you go. I'm gonna put that down. I'm wash my hands off so then I can wipe it off so I can see it has done its job. Look at that. It's nothing showing up. So that means it's clean. That's crazy. It just cleaned the crap out of that. Yay! Okay. So I'm not gonna make y'all, you know, you don't wanna see another one. So I only have a few more that are dirty, but not a whole lot. If y'all want to order any of that, let me know. Uh, I can order it for you. You can uh, go get my link and, I can, and you can order it yourself, however. But that is definitely what I use. I use the Tea Tree Bar Soap from Pharmacy. And I'll show you how big this is. I just opened this one not too long ago. This one is one I use for my face. And then it has the pharmacy on it as well. But I mean, telling you like how big this is. This I've used, this is actually a little bit smaller than what it actually is. This is the one I use on my face. This is the one I'm using on my brushes. So this stuff is amazing. If you're just hopping on, I will demonstrate another. I'll do a shadow brush because that's about all I have left. But look at that. Just, I just switched it around some, rinsed the bar soap, 
rinse just a little bit and do it again. And then I just rinse it out some, doing like that. And wring it out like that. That just came on it. That was quick. And then I use a towel check of making sure. I just rub it on the towel to see if there's anything left on it. And there's nothing. That's it. If y'all want to order this tea tree bar soap, let me know. I can order it for you. I can give you the links to order it. It's only $5.90. That is it. And I mean, you get a big bar. This one has been used for a while because I've had it since December and it does wonders on my brushes. And I try to do it every two weeks, if not every week. So it will last you a good long time. And I still have a bunch more brushes to clean, so, but I'm not gonna make y'all sit and watch me. But I hope you, um, you know, got some information because it's very, very important to clean your brushes um, because it will help um, prevent more acne and all um, that dirt and stuff going into your pores each time you use your brushes. But I hope y'all have a fabulous day.